empathy is not a spiritual gift, it is a practice. You are likely not an empath if you identify as one, if you are identifying as one or have, you are likely empathetic and that is a beautiful thing. But if you are calling yourself an empath or believing yourself to be one, it's really important to be really skeptical of yourself in that. And here's why. Many of us who came from tougher circumstances who had to be hyper vigilant of the people around us of our surroundings identify as empaths as adults because we are really good at pattern recognition at sensing what somebody is going to say or do next how they might be feeling but this is not a superpower. This was a survival mechanism that served you very well and that it's important to have a lot of compassion for, but that it's also important to be skeptical of. A lot of times I notice what empaths are saying they feel from another person, another situation, our projections on that person, on that situation, of things that they've experienced themselves, that they've learned how to oftentimes fairly accurately discern information from, recognize patterns in, and draw fairly accurate conclusions about. Not every person or situation is going to fit the mold of your prior experiences is going to follow the same pattern and it's important to let people and trust people to have their own feelings and their own experiences without trying to discredit them because of your empathy. You might feel really certain a certain person is angry or sad, even happy, and you may be wrong. Your heart may be in the right place, you may be wrong. And even if you're not wrong, if somebody is telling you, hey, I don't feel that way, hey, that's not my experience, even if that's not honest, that is your cue to take a step back and respect that person's energetic boundaries. Maybe they are angry, maybe they are sad, maybe they are happy maybe they don't want to share that with you it's important to understand we can't know but to respect a person's energetic consent either way and to trust them as authorities over their own feelings and experiences over ourselves that in itself is practicing empathy empathy is by definition, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. And another important piece to this is it's important to understand you cannot fully understand and share the feelings of another. You can practice that by putting yourself in their shoes to the best of your ability and imagining what their experience might be feeling like to them based on what you'd imagine it might feel like, but that is always going to be an imperfect practice. And that's important to understand and be respectful of too. You can imagine how tough certain things might have been for certain people, but you can never fully understand and feel the full spectrum of somebody else's experience over the course of years in combination with their specific biology and every small instance that has culminated in the fullness of what they feel with full accuracy and that's really important to honor. It's always important to honor people and their own personal feelings and experiences as they are willing to share those with you and to practice consent in and with any sort of energy work. I 
believe some people can pick up on other energies and read those to a certain extent. I also really believe consent is important and I also really believe most people labeling themselves as empaths are not the people that <laughs> actually have those skills. I find the more sensitive to energy a person is, the more nuance they understand energy to have and the more skeptical they are to place labels on themselves like that. And a lot of the ways in which people who label themselves as empaths perceive themselves to be practicing empathy is actually causing harm. And if this has been you, if this has been a way that you've labeled yourself, I really encourage you with love to think about this. I am by no means saying you are a bad person or that you should feel that way about yourself. But when you know better, it's important to do better. I love you. Blessed be.